Hey Leo, welcome back to Kiwis and Tarot. My name is Ruth, this is Tiny. <laughs> I'm your Reiki Master and Tarot Reader and this, my darlings, is your intuitive, healing intuitive reading for the time between the 29th of August and the 12th of September. Um, we're going to look at some key energies for this time period and key energies and outcomes along with some uh, just a bit more depth about this all about these next two weeks. Now I wanted to say a huge thank you to all those people that have supported uh, my subscribers that have supported me and Kiwis and Tarot and Tiny uh, for the last year or so um, on my channel um, and welcome my darling, welcome to all the new all the new um, subscribers and new viewers. Kiwis and Tarot is based on mindfulness, meditation, Reiki and Tarot in that order and really the aim, my aim is to help you to heal, to help you to expand, to help you to grow and um, to help you to engage with um, all aspects of your life and your experience on this in this world um, okay so hopefully you will get something from this my darlings now I'm going to shuffle a little bit more on camera and then we'll get started with your reading Okay, my darlings, that was nice and quick, wasn't it? Okay, so the card in the base of your reading is the Six of Cups. The card at the base of the reading is the overall energy perspective that you need to see this reading through or this time period through. And for you guys, it's the Six of Cups. Number six is a number on the Tree of Life. That's what I refer to when I say it is a number of. On the Tree of Life, number six is the number of beauty, okay? Love and harmony. And that's about our appreciation of, our appreciation of our truth selves, our experiences, um, our inner child at this at this stage, the inner woundings, um, that essence, the engagement with those things. So there's a joyfulness, there's a there's an acceptance, and there's a pleasure, and there is a a joy and a love of who we are, warts and all, vulnerabilities and all. There's a real, there's a real appreciation. It's like self-appreciation. You value yourself. You learn that you can and should do that um, over the next couple of weeks. So let's have a look in what ways, why, you know, why do you suddenly, not suddenly, but there's, you have a, an appreciation of self. That's what it is, the message is for you. So we'll look at this key energy right at the end. We'll look at this one first of all. And we've got temperance. Temperance, for shorthand, I call it the card of mindfulness. And mindfulness, as I was talking to you about before, is about being present. It's about being where you are now and experiencing everything that you're experiencing fully. Now, and being aware of everything that you're experiencing. I was at the pub the other day. Um, and I was talking to and my friend, my friend brought a friend along and his name was Tree, as in a tree, amazing name. And um, he, and I love trees and I showed him the pictures of my trees on my phone anyway. And he was going, he was leaving us because he had to go to Pilates. And I said, oh my God, I love Pilates. I said, uh, I used to do, because I used to do Pilates and yoga four times a week. So I was, <laughs> I mean, I'm, you know, I'm torn, I'm torn um, and very slim, but I'm really strong. Um, and I said to him, the reason I love Pilates so much is because when the first time I did Pilates, I left the, the gym, the session feeling like there were parts of my body that I didn't know existed. And that when I did Pilates, I felt them. And as soon as I, the first time you feel them, you can't forget them. So it's really about our awareness we are alive in this world. You are alive on this planet. And I guarantee you now you have never, ever thought about the back 
the left back, top right of your knee or a certain part of your body? Or is it with when we are mindful, temperance with this energy, it means that we fully fully experience everything. So not only our physical experiences, but our emotional experiences, our mental experiences. So what is triggered by the physical, what is triggered by the room that we're in or by the song that we hear, what is triggered in our mind mentally, what is triggered emotionally when we hear that song or when we see that bird flying over our heads. So to be mindful is to be aware of all of those things at once. And that's what temperance is like. Temperance is about, is like being guided by that. And, you know, being guided, being guided by your awareness, your tune, tuning in to yourself, to what you're fully experiencing, tuning in to um, how it feels to chew that food, what you think about when you chew that food, what you feel physically when you chew that food. Are your tense right now? Are your shoulders hunched or are they relaxed? I guarantee you your body is tense. Just relax. When you breathe in now, I want you to breathe out again now. And every time you breathe out, you've got to imagine that you are releasing all those toxins in your body. Because you know that the red, that when we breathe in, we breathe in oxygen. And when we breathe out, we breathe out carbon dioxide. But I always think of it every time I breathe in that each of my red blood cells is fully filling up with oxygen and is displacing the carbon dioxide. And that is in every single cell in my body, just as it is for you. So every time I breathe out, I'm breathing out all that displaced carbon dioxide, of course, but all those toxins in every single cell within my body. And I am aware of that and I feel that and so can you. And it's that level of awareness that helps us to know what to do next, where to go next, what the next moment is. The moment, one moment flows into the next. Once you realise that one moment flows into the next, you start to think and feel about the fact that this is constant then. That means that every moment is constant, that they're not moments in time. It's not one step, two step. It's, it's as we we are already taking the second step as the first step is completing. So it's only about the shift in our awareness and our presence. That is what temperance is. And that is how we move through life. It's a constant stream, which means that everything is connected. Every single thing, right from the day that you were born until where you are right now, every single thing is connected. So there's this constant energy this constant flow that you have to be aware of within yourself. And I want you to connect with that this month because over this next couple of weeks, because that's the message. Temperance is about being aware. It's about your awareness. And it's about how that awareness actually helps you to expand your mind. And by expand your mind, it just means to know more, to, so that there's no, there's, we can learn more, understand more about ourselves, our experiences, about what we feel, about the people. So that's temperance. And that's your first key energy. So I want you to, the message with temperance is always to engage, to not to avoid, not to distract. Don't distract yourself with, 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 with drugs or alcohol or, or do. If you are distracting yourself with drugs or alcohol, at least engage with the fact that you are, how does it feel? I've never taken any drug, you know, um, like uh that gives that causes hallucinations you know i don't you know like a uh, <laughs> magic mushrooms i've never taken anything like that because i don't even take paracetamols or acid. i don't take any drugs actually prescription or otherwise weed yeah but nothing nothing than that and um because i thought that it would change me i always believed that even when I was younger that if I took anything like that it would completely change my brain forever and I'd never be the same again I wouldn't be able to live with myself but for you I want you to start to engage because really that is what the message is your key energy your key experience this 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 month Leo is to engage with what you're really feeling and the the constants the flow the um the energy that's bind that's the energy that's key Okay, as in key wisdom, that's chi. 
that's the energy that binds us all those moments those moments within moments it's not an in breath and then it's not inhale exhale as you are inhaling you are already exhaling that moment has already begun because one cannot come without the other unless obviously you are deceased so an inhale is automatic it's not followed by an exhale an inhale of breath is not followed by an exhale of breath it's a constant stream and you are to engage with that so take some time out over this next week or so to engage with yourself this tells me that some of you leos have not been taking care of yourself my mum is a leo my brother's a leo and it means that some of us have not been taking care of ourselves. Some of you have been, and by, by that, I mean, you might just be working hard, doing, my mum does a lot of, she goes to the church a lot and she sings in the choir and all that stuff. So she, and she volunteers. So maybe she's been doing too much of that and not enough of her own focus. She needs to focus on herself. I'll, t I'll tell her that when I speak to her. And that might be the same for you, okay? So we've got, woo, you've got some great cards here. Um, You've got the Queen of Cups, Ace of Swords, Four of Swords, Three of cups i love this card this card reminds me of my auntie she's here this is not my auntie this is obviously a buddha but I, this is i every time every time i go to bed at night and i do my prayers well i, I meditate i always meditate at this desk and i and i and i touch my little auntie's belly my buddha belly and i say and, I, and it, she makes me laugh because she looked she kind of had a big belly <laughs> that's why and she had the best laugh so that's why that's her and then this is my, mama my um godmother I mean, she's not. She's this is a, an ornament that I bought from uh, Thailand, and my my nana a picture of my nana is just up there. You can't see it. And when I see this card, it always reminds me of those three. They're all passed on now. They passed um, nana passed first in twenty thirteen, and then baby in twenty fourteen, and then later mama, my godmother, and they are my. I, and every night I sit here and I pray, not pray, but I meditate and I and I recont, you know, just sort of connect with this actually you know do some some consciously sort of engage if you will with the floor and it always reminds me this reminds me of them the three of them because they are my not guides it's not like that I, I don't know what a spirit guide is people I don't know about stuff like that that's not how I understand it that's not how I it works for me but for me they are my, the, the people that anchor me that keep me sort of connected to source connected to this floor connected to the constant they keep me connected to that and the three of cups is the and is that energy of it's a celebration it's a celebration uh key of cups you're on the right track success good stuff happening parties celebration and it's them the three of them celebrate me going yes three of, yes now i'm not a leo but this is your sort of equivalent in what in your life in what you do you know people are celebrating you or if you have spirit guides i don't know as i said i don't i'll have to one anyway i'm not i'm not gonna waste time talking about it, but you know what i mean that's them going yeah she's doing good yes girl good 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 and why is that so you're in a good spot there's reason to celebrate people around you are celebrating you or you know your spirit guides whatever are celebrating you the universe is celebrating you there's cause for celebration okay for you um over this next couple of weeks and you're in a really amazing spot this energy is beautifully grounded actually you're in a, in such a oh my god i could stay where i am right now in this energy how i'm feeling right now i could stay here all day it's so nice because it's active but it's 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 kind of like chilled it's kind of like it's it, you can feel it but it's not overwhelming and it's not intense if that makes sense so it's it's aware you're aware of it but it is not overwhelming that's what this energy feels like for me and it's beautiful to experience it right now here with you okay we've got the queen of cups first of all queen of cups queens are feminine so that's about understanding what's within understanding our emotional self understanding our intuitive selves understanding our creative selves understanding our desires our wants what we need and this is there's an understanding here with this card with the queen of cups there's a maturity here and i really feel like it's because you are feeling more you might be more spiritually minded at this time you may be more um and and you under whatever spirituality is for you, you you know you you apply that but you might be feeling more creative or spiritually minded or 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 
emotional at this time um but but you're engaging with it you know there's no there's no need to ignore it there's no need to pretend it doesn't exist that's what you feel and that's what you're engaging with and it's a beautiful and it's beautiful to behold you next have the ace of swords so this again this clarity coming through but in your thoughts at this time so not only in your emotional self and your emotional body and in your intuitive self and in your intuitive mind and your creative mind but also with your discerning mind your logical mind your um that air energy the sword energy is connected to our thoughts mind clarity consciousness and communication and this is a breakthrough this is the ace of swords is a gift of clarity it's cutting things out that cutting out those distractions you know for some of you that's exactly what it is cutting out the distractions in order to, to connect more deeply with yourself so it's quite a spiritual reading this one actually and i'm not expecting this i wasn't expecting it but it's this it's this type of focus that brings about a cell it's something that that is to be celebrated as well that type of um you focusing on your foundations with the number four is about foundation roots and of it in our minds of the our mind the foundations of our minds or how we what our perspectives are this is why we call this the meditation card it's as if this energy that you're doing you know that you're using is helping you to that's something to be celebrated because you need to focus on you you know my mum and my brother um you know she's like they're like that i've got a, a few friends who are leos as well and that's what they're like they're so focused on other people and i love them i love them they're amazing people but they have to you know you really have to give yourself love self self some self-love um and some self-care and some self and and just just cut out the noise sometimes and that's why sometimes it's nice to just spend some space in your house by yourself with the walk the dog and don't talk to the dog walkers you know what i mean like sometimes you just have to be in that space by yourself and that is to be celebrated there's cause for celebration though also which is which is interesting and exciting so let's look as we move well let's look at the other, other energies okay so we can see it as weeks if you want to so you know the four the 29th to the fourth and then the 12th but just you're gonna get all these energies anyway so let's look at the next the next two card wow so we've got opportunities here with the two of um ones whoa i just got a, you've got eight of swords here and it's good you know to see this eight of swords actually is interesting and good and i'm happy to see this beneath this beneath the these energies here this four of cards these four cards here i'm happy to see because what it means is that there's nothing going to be hidden from you now it's going to be hidden from your awareness you're going to know how you treat yourself you're going to understand if you have anxiety you're going to be able to recognize the um lack of self-belief you're going to be able to recognize the feelings of inadequacy or whatever it is for you as an individual when i see because you know the eight of swords is to be is to being stuck in a in a in a in a certain way of thinking being stuck in a cyclical way of thinking to the point where you don't even hear those thoughts you don't even hear that you tell yourself you're no good you don't even hear that you tell yourself you don't deserve you don't even hear that, that you tell yourself that you can't have it you don't hear that with the eight of swords you're just stuck in a way of thinking and actually what that does is it restricts you but what's coming through is the the, the clarity is coming through so we get eight plus nine so think about it eight plus one is nine so think about it the nine of, of swords the dark night of the soul as people call it is where we see everything is where we is where we can see and hear all the anxieties and we can we could that we can face up to them and it can be very confronting but it's also extremely necessary and you have the opportunity to do that sometimes you just have to take a seat and and just do nothing and and people find that very difficult to do you know i used to find that very difficult to do now i mean i've been looking after dog sitting ace of wands excellent so i've been dog sitting for my um for dolly doggy if you those people that see follow kiris them on instagram facebook you've seen dolly she's a beautiful chocolate cocker, cocker spaniel gorgeous and a puppy and she's a beautiful dog lovely dog but my brother has got um obviously he's married so he's got a wife and he's got three children so there's a it's a you know big family so um you know they're you know george little bit boy he's only oh he's so cute and you know they, they can all play together with the dog and da, 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 da. but i did not realize how chill my vibe is until 
that dog came to stay here for four days. Then I realised I'm the chill, I am the most chill person like you've ever, because I seem very like animated and, and like, you know, I'm very like, when I'm talking to you guys, I'm like, yeah, 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 and I'm using my hands and da, da, da. I'm so extra. People might say, oh my God, you're so extra. I mean, I don't care. I mean, I love that, darling. I'm on that. But I am the chill. I am so chill. And the reason I am very chill is because of the work that I do. Now, what happens is we can distract ourselves. We can have these animals and these dogs and these children and this 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 life and these friends and this stuff and da, da, da. and actually all that stuff does is it distracts us from this it takes us out of this it takes us away from the constant and actually that's where we are that's where we all are that's where we all exist we've all got a hand in it we've all got a foot we're all there all the time forever and ever and ever amen but we can fail to see that and to recognise that and to know that and to feel that and to connect with it when we see this energy of the Eight of Swords. It tells me that there's got to be some space for you to, to chill, to relax, to unwind, to, to focus on yourself for a bit. And you might do that. Now, we've got some really beautiful energies here. Um, let me look at these two because we've got the ace, the one and the two of wands. So the ace of wands and the two of wands. Now the ace of the two of wands is about an opportunity that is coming your way or an opportunity that you have engineered because of the work that you've already done, more specifically. Because of what you've already done and the success. So the success, because of what you've already done, there's more opportunities opening up, okay? It could be in creative pursu pursuits, um, because the one energy is related to that idea of creativity and imagination, etc. Um, but it's an op there's, an, there's 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 opening up. There's opportunities opening up for you, and really, you want to spend some time, maybe detached or meditating or reflecting. Meditation means it's it's descended from um, the etymology of the word. Meditation is meditare, which is from the Latin um, meaning to reflect, to consider, to think over. Obviously, followers of Kiwis and Tarot on Instagram or Facebook, you know that because I post, this is the type of stuff I post on there. Um, so that's what we do when we meditate. And that's the difference between meditate and mindfulness. So to meditate is to to reflect, to consider, to think over. And you should do that. You definitely need to spend some time reflecting considering thinking over what it is you want how it is you you feel but you also need to spend some time with yourself with your connecting back with yourself reconnecting with yourself so this is why yoga and pilates are so fabulous they're different um but they are fabulous for that reason you know um which would i say is more mindful I mean, it depends. You know, they're both fabulous. I mean, anything like that, mindfulness, uh, excuse me. I mean, yoga's probably more of a, I don't know. I, I don't know which one I, I would say. It's hard for me to decide. Anyway, try something, do something, listen to something, go somewhere, go get, get a massage. I don't know. Just have some space because there are potentially opportunities opening up for you. There's definitely reasons to celebrate. Um, and there's, 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 there's new clarity coming through but there's definitely something here that's an opportunity that you've engineered because of the work that you've already done that's what this card indicates with the two of the two of wands okay and then we've got here the ace of wands so we know there's a beginning of there's a new you might be newly inspired you might be newly you might be feeling more creative there's confidence here as well though you 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 feeling more confident and i think the confidence comes as a result of doing this going through this process of, of actually engaging with yourself, of actually listening to yourself. The seven of pentacles here, pentacles energy is where we put our energy and effort in order to manifest security. So there's something that you're doing that you feel is futile. You are, see, yeah, interesting. That's the thing, it's, it's a confidence thing. It's not, it's not actually fact, by the way. There's an energy here of, there's a there's a there is a lack of not self-belief but you a lack of compassion for yourself in 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 some area and 
it, it's really that's what it is that holds you back it's nothing else it's, it's not not holds you back but it's that what it is that gets you down because there's a feeling of sometimes you've got to I used to be so bad at taking compliments. I, I couldn't do it. If someone says, oh, I like your dress, or I like, don't you look nice, or whatever, whatever, I, I would hate it. Make me feel so uncomfortable. Because I think, how come that put, you know, they're lying, or no, like, I'm not. And I didn't I didn't have the thought that thought in my head, but I felt uncomfortable. And I realised that the discomfort, after spending time in meditation and mindfulness, reflecting, etc., over years, I realised that that discomfort came from the fact that I didn't feel good enough, that personally I felt inadequate for some reason. And that was another thing that I had to actively reflect on in meditation. So for you, it's a similar sort of energy. It's it, it's more of the disappointment is... you putting all this energy and effort into something and you're not getting out what you what you think you should get out of it or is that is that actually real though is it real see i don't think it is real i think it's in your your stuff your that that's what you think that's what you think that's what you think or have thought like you're being negative you're thinking negatively you're you're but you don't even know that you think negatively you can't even hear yourself think negatively you don't you don't hear you don't know that you do that but you do that that's what that's what that's what that is you need to if I, if I was here right now if, if you were here right now i'll go like this i'd smack your hand i used to do that to the children at school i did if this swore, the kids that i taught were not you know they would 11 to 18, so they weren't kid kids, but <laughs> if ever you heard, if ever my kids swore in my English class, I'd say, right, you know the rules, give me a hand. I, I told them, I, I, and, and at parents, when you'd have the parents' evenings, the parents' meetings, I'd say, well, you know, i just do that, but, you know, I wouldn't hurt them, but, you know, I would do that, and um, I'd say to them, well, Mum, well, Dad, that's what I did to him, you know. They, 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 they be swearing, you can't swear, Miss, Miss Odudu's class, you know. You've got to be, got to learn. That's what I do to you. I go like this. It's astounding your... Um, it's unfounded. The thing that you're worrying about is unfounded. The thing that you're, the thing that you, that concerns you is unfounded. The thing that you're, um, nervous about is unfounded. There's a reason for it. There's a reason for this sort of lack of, not self-esteem, but sort of, it's not, well, not self-esteem, but there's a lack of, you don't there's a there's a something that you be, that you believe that you need to release because for some reason you feel you fear disappointment or but you don't you don't realize that you fear it you don't realize that you said you don't realize that this is something that you hold you don't realize that this is something you're holding on to you can't hear it this is like inside hidden almost this is like within and on the outside this is what's flanked on the outside on the outside there's success there's new beginnings there's opportunities there's compassion but on the for others for the things that the thing that you love the things that you love but on the inside there's there's a sense there's a sense of doubt um a sense of worry a sense of um nervousness the 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 message for this is you it's well i mean i've just pulled that out because i wanted to sort of see well how do we escape that you have to leave it behind and, and, and walk away from it but actually what you have to do is you have to engage you have to start to listen to that you have to start to hear this you have to start to hear it and the only way that you hear it is by just taking that time, that break, that space. Because on the outside, everything's good. There's nothing going, nothing's going to go wrong. Nothing's going wrong. Everything's brilliant. Everything's, there's reason to celebrate. But there's opportunities all, also. 
but within you there's it, it it's it goes deep actually it's deep in it you need to start engaging with it you need to start to engage with it okay and this is you potentially doing that you know <laughs> it's potentially engaging you know actually actively putting in energy to try to understand to actively engage but there's also There's a knowing with this card. There's a knowing with this card of something that you can offer. There's something that you can do. There's something that, that, that you, there's something that you can do to affect this. And you're willing to do it. You're willing to, to do the work. I don't know if you're going to do it alone. You might help get other people to help you or other people might help you. Whatever, whatever. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But there's definitely an energy of yes i feel nervous but you do have things to offer that others will celebrate and that you can celebrate and that can provide you with security and that can help you to release and leave these things behind okay i'm stopping there because i've got all the readings to do and i'm going to be here this is meant to be 20 minutes okay my darlings i hope you like that reading if you did my fabulous leos please give it a thumbs up um and leave me your comments you can share this video etc etc like i always say please ring the bell to sub for subscriptions as well i'm going to be uploading the astrology for september and um love readings for september as well uh, next week or whatever okay my darlings thank you so much for being here have a wonderful couple of weeks leo spend some time with yourself engage with your foundations and try to have compassion for yourself and for what you need and for the space that you need in your life okay my darlings all right take care my fabulous leos bye